If God intervened in any way in the course of natural history by either creating life originally, periodically creating basic new kinds of creatures, or reprogramming the genetic code, empirical evidence might exist for natural discontinuities. Do you regard the discovery of systems of irreducible complexity to constitute evidence for natural discontinuities? Well, irreducibly complex systems uh, certainly are, in my opinion, natural discontinuities. But I guess you have to um, understand what you mean by a natural discontinuity. Um, I think um, the fertilization of an egg uh, and the development of a new animal is pretty much a natural discontinuity, too, in the sense that uh, you have a prepackaged uh, information, uh, amount of information being released in this new organism. And the organism is built by uh, molecular machines and, and uh, a process that, that is not natural selection. And uh, so in, in that sense, uh, every new organism is, is a, uh, a discontinuity. Um, the flagellum, I think, uh, appeared uh, as a functional entity, you know, briefly, maybe over a period of one generation uh, or several generations. Um, whether that, you know, that clearly is, is a natural discontinuity, whether that implies that the flagellum uh, and the information for the flagellum was, no long, was nowhere in nature at that point, or was in nature, had been put in nature, and not uh, activated, if you, if you will, up to that point is a, a difficult question and I really don't have any uh, preference either way if you know uh, if, if it happened one way or the other that's equally fine by me I'm, I'm just a scientist trying to figure out how it did happen um, but I think it's very it's very difficult uh, it would be very difficult to experimentally decide uh, whether the information was uh, added immediately prior to its expression or uh, well before its expression. Um, but it's an interesting question that can be pursued, I think.